Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is today here, and we are going to be playing Alone in the Dark. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001. Hold on, 2100 hours. I'm talking. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit, but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Epicanus writing tablet. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Connie. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Is Cedrac? Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abkhanis stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? Now, this is where we get to pick who we want to play. Edward Carnby. Or, I'm just going to call him Edward Cranberry. But, I want to do his storyline first. Now, I'm not going to lie, I played his story for about 45 minutes, but that's just because I was getting used to the controls that I set up. Because since this is such an old game, like, I mean, this came out on the PS1. 
It has awkward controls, so with awkward controls, I had to do an awkward remap that was comfortable. So, let's get right into it. Alone in the dark. A new nightmare. Alright. Now, first of all, uh, was it first of all? Shift is to aim. Control is to run. Uh, if I hold shift and then hold A, I could free look around. But if I don't hold A, I could just move up and back around and shit like that. W is inventory. D is to look at the map. Aline? S is the radio. And then F is my flashlight. And if I hold shift and then A, I could look around with the flashlight. You know, it's very nifty. Like, I really love some of the mechanics in this game. Resident Evil Pardon should take me. some notes. Answer me, please. <laughs> Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now. Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about a hundred yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How could I? Help me for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. I can see you now. Okay. I see you too. Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. Now, the reason why I'm playing this game for you guys is because I'm downloading a very interesting game that came out in 2008 in Russia, I believe, and then was imported to an English version in 2009. And I've looked at some gameplay, and it is strange. And I want to save that for you guys, so I'm doing this in the meantime Why it downloads. Oh my god. Don't move. Don't move. Leave me be. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Who did this to you? This island is a hell hole. Not men. Filthy beasts. Flee! Get out of here any way you can. How did you get here? The boat. Last shipment, he shot everyone. Look, just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm leading you some bullets. Yes, but he has no help. arm. <laughs> help. But you'll die like everyone else. I'll be back. Oh, also I didn't tell you, I use the arrow keys to move as well. Now I have my volume all the way up for full effect, cause many horror games don't scare me, especially survival horror games like this. Oh fucking hell! Okay. That's loud. God. You guys wanna see something interesting? Oh, uh, it looks like there's nothing here. Flashlight? What's that? Oh, item! Oh, also I use space to shoot and interact with things. You got this. Okay, you take a small bronze key. Also, look at this. I can make it freak out. Alright. Is there something over there? Nah, there's not. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing some really weird games I found. I actually sold a lot of stuff on Steam. And... Fuck. I actually sold a lot of stuff on Steam to get it. Uh, this game and the one that I'm going to be playing for you guys. And then the other one was not on Steam, so I had to download that through a torrent, unfortunately. You unlock the door. Let's go through. Also, I got some news. I... God damn it.
I hate how they just straight up show the monster off like that. They should have had more build up to that until it actually fucking just comes into play. What the fuck are those sounds? What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, the music and the atmosphere in this game is superb fucking hell. I'm gonna turn my volume down just a bit. It's too loud. Way, way too loud. But, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be finishing Manhunt anytime soon. It's just... For any of you guys who've done Let's Plays, there are always those games that just... Take it out of you, you know? And Manhunt is one of those games, and it's just gotten to the point where I'm not enjoying it anymore. I mean, I thought I would love the game, but... Oh, shit. I think I'm going the wrong way. Alright, let's try our best not to get hit here. One weird thing that I found in this game is if you go straight up to a door... Oh, God. God damn it. Get away. If you go straight up to, like, a door and press the interaction key while you're running... We're just standing still, it won't open it from as far as I can tell. You have to slowly walk. Which is. Bye bye. I try not to fight anything. Uh, what is it? Right off the bat, this game. Because I like to save my ammo. Because, I mean, it is a survival horror game, and I don't know much about it. So I don't know if there's going to be an abundance of ammo like Resident Evil 3 type survival horror. Or if there's barely going to be any ammo like Silent Hill 1 survival horror, you know? But as far as I can tell, there's no melee weapons in this game. So it would be a smart idea for them to make your ammo very limited. We'll just have to see in this game. But yeah, about those games that I'm downloading, I've read up so many reviews on one of them. And I heard the game is just extremely frustratingly hard. And it's one of those games to where you either love it or hate it. So we'll just have to see how that series goes. It's really and this is technically the first boss fight of the game. Not that hard. Since you have an auto lock on, you just turn around, aim, and pop off the gun. Ow! Holy shit. Shit, I'm an orange. Alright, I think he's dead. Let's get out of here. Oh my god! Alright, let's not leave through the door. Through there, he tries to fuck me up. I don't like it. Marty empties up on the first eight man. And reload. Also, I love this revolver. It's a double barrel, double chamber, uh, what is it? Revolver. It holds 12 bullets and it has two fucking barrels. Things bad ass. Unfortunately, I had to use an aid kit. One thing that I've seen in this game is that ammo is... Not ammo. Uh, aid kits are very scarce. Very, very scarce. Like, I only found one in the first 50 minutes I played this game. Is there anything to be over here? Nope. Just a bunch of rubble. Alright, let's go. Also, whenever I first played this, I just completely skipped over all the dialogue because I didn't want any spoilers. And get this shit, a triple barrel shotgun. How fucking awesome is that? That's some like Resident Evil 5 Wesker shotgun type shit right there. Box of phosphorus cartridges and magnesium bullets. Pretty odd bullet names if you ask me. Do you want to open the casket? Sure. No.
You know, I'm not gonna lie, I can imagine, like, back in the 90s, that this game scared the living shit out of people. Especially, uh, what is it, kids. Shit, I'm, inventory system's kinda weird. Alright, let's go through the game. I'm gonna try to make this episode 30 minutes or a little bit more while this game is downloading. Carnby? Carnby, answer me! Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want of me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. But I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. <laughs> Hurry up. Better than nothing, bitch. God damn. Alright, for this part, I'm gonna equip this. Because the lights are gonna turn off, like, right there. And then we're not gonna be able to really see this thing! Ugh. Combat in this game is. it's meh. But it does its job. I'm really impressed, by the way, by the opening scene in this game. Because for back then and still now, it's badass. So just seeing something like. what is it? That. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess hyped up and just full throttle? Must have really shocked people and gave away the get uh, was a quality that this game was gonna give off. I don't know. I can't find the right word for it. All right, HM. A marble bust, quite recent. There's a mechanism at the base of the bust, and this is where we input the initials. MH, if I'm correct. Wait, what? Oh, HM. <laughs> God damn it. I fucked that up. It was two letters. Two letters. I had one job. And I fucked it up. There we go, BB. Creepy ass painting. Alright, time to go upstairs. Hey, I can hear you. Can you see what's blocking the door? I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. A chest of drawers? Okay then. And this is where we get a key. <laughs> Don't want to take damage. Oh shit! Shit, I didn't really want to waste that much ammo. The revolver is kind of useless because they give you a shotgun so early on in the damn game. It's pretty strange if you ask me. Alright, let's go ahead and push this damn thing out of the way. Okay, there we go. I forgot you have to press an interaction button. I'm so used to Resident Evil's controls to where you just go up against it and push in the direction it's supposed to be in. At last. I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know. Yes, I know. <laughs> here, I got your stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, <laughs> I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's 
way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. Well, why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? You're not the type to say no. Told. So, one thing that I'm actually impressed by is, I know this may sound kind of pervy, but if you looked at her boobs, they were like really rounded and for back then that was actually kind of an all right back then that was just kind of like a really big accomplishment because that was like a lot of polygons for the fucking console to handle all right i'm not gonna read this shit you can pause on each page if you feel like it in video games i always don't read files but in one game, I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of reading. I don't know why I downloaded that damn thing. Jesus. God damn, talk about a lot of fucking text. If I couldn't read that, then I don't know how I'm gonna get through one of the games I'm gonna be playing. You take an acrobat statue. You take. A dictaphone! Let's listen to it, I guess. I've already listened to it once. Ogulai, Hyper Hanis Kona. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the Circle of Stones. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. He was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself. Very interesting. Also, one of the games that I'm wanting to play for you guys is. Oh, sh God damn it. Please help me. Okay. That was an accident. I'm still getting used to the controls I set up. I'm not used to control being the run. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm just role playing a bit. <laughs> But another one of the games I'm really wanting to play for you guys is Alan Wake. It's such a good game. Oh my god. It's fucking hard, though. Like, I personally haven't been able to beat it. I've gotten, like, three hours in, and that was, like, six months ago. Six, seven months ago. Yeah, so let's look through this pie hole. Alright, then. I need to figure out where to use this key. It's a small rusty key. An old rusted key, it is engraved second floor west. One thing I like about this is if you examine the keys, it tells you where it's supposed to go. There's no like wandering around like Resident Evil fucking 2, figuring out where the hell it goes. I mean, well, there may be some of that later on in the game. I mean, it is a survival horror. The door seems sealed. I've tried the key on that door and it doesn't work. I think I've tried this, because this is the second floor. Nope, it cannot be used. Let's go and try it here. I've already examined those. There's another mechanism thing. Uh, 
there's gonna be mechanisms throughout the game from what I read up to unlock those portraits. And I also read up on the PC version about the famous portrait glitch to where one of the portraits won't open, so I am hoping I don't encounter that. Let's go and try this key. Nope. There's so many games I want to play for you guys. I need to go and check this area and make sure I got everything. Alright. Just checking the area because in survival horror games they like to hide their items. I know who you are and what you have come looking for. I was expecting you. Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. I am the guardian of this island. The guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Professor Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. But the legends were not wrong. You have come to us. My only hope is that it is not too late. This is all Greek to me. It will become clear soon enough. Go to the library. The books withhold many a secret. Also, take this charm. It will prevent you from falling into oblivion with all the others. Go. Fulfill your destiny. Save us. Wait, wait. I didn't come here to fool around. I came to investigate Fisk's death. I do not know who you are talking about. Charles Fisk. Fifty-ish. About 6'1". Graying hair. I still do not know who that is. You see, nobody's come to Shadow Island for months now. Okay, that's about enough of this. Oh, God. You take a charm of saving. Alright, I think I'm actually going to end it here. I'm going to save first, obviously. Alright, guys. Always. Split. Never saw that feature before. Anyways, guys, this has been fun. I'm actually going to clean my room after this to do something in the meantime while that game is downloading. This has been Tenebrum. Signing out. Wait, this has been Tenebrum? Really? <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a commentary. I'm sorry. Anyways, guys, this is Tenebrum. Signing out over and out. Peace out, guys.